King's Island is about to debut two new rides for the 2023 season. Now, who would have thought this because just a few months ago, Cedar Fair appeared to roll out their company-wide announcements for everything new for the 2023 season. And of course, at that time, King's Island was not on the list. But here we are, middle of October, and King's Island officially announcing two new rides plus a re-theme of their Oktoberfest area of the park. Welcome to Theme Park Predictions and more. My name is Brandon, and this is very exciting news for everyone visiting Kings Island in 2023. And now we officially know why the park decided to remove Slingshot, because the two new rides will be located where the Slingshot attraction once stood. This whole new area, which will be called Adventure Port, looks phenomenal. And according to the website, the description for this new area is the myths of the ancient civilization and its mighty city carved out of stone have lured travelers from around the globe to this bustling port community for more than a century. Welcome to Adventure Port, new in 2023 that is located in between Coney Mall and Action Zone. The park's newest themed area will feature two family rides, enhanced theming for Adventure Express, Enrique's Quick Service Restaurant, and the Mercado. So let's first dive into the Mercado, which will be yet another amazing restaurant to open at Kings Island. And according to Kings Island's website, it says, Cultures come together at the Mercado, a melting pot where guests simply celebrate being alive. Whether you're an explorer just passing through or a tourist checking out the local scene, the local purveyor is your source for dining, drinking, cargo transport, and more. Sounds delicious, and I'm sure there's some great drinks there as well. And speaking of food, you gotta try Enrique's, and Kings Island is describing this restaurant as a trip to Adventure Port isn't complete unless you experience the local cuisine. Stop by Enrique's quick service restaurant for a menu that features traditional burritos, burrito bowls, tacos, salads, and sides. Now that we know about the food and the drinks, let's take a look at the rides. And the least of the thrilling attractions is going to be called Cargo Loco, which looks to be like a teacup style of ride, which is great for the park because families love those attractions. And this attraction is described as, Needed companies ship your goods? Look no further than Aero Cargo Company. Their methods might be a little dizzling, but they'll get your freight from point A to point B eventually. Check out the shipping barrels for yourself and get ready for the trip of your life. But the best news of all is it appears that Cedar Fair is finally investing in some awesome Zamperla flat rides for the 2023 season. And Soul Spin at Kings Island is a Zamperla endeavor and these attractions are awesome so i'm so excited that to finally see one in the cedar fair chain is a great thing now one really cool thing about soul spin is that this attraction is a great nod to the old sky lab that used to be located in the park which was a huss enterprise and that operated at the park from 1986 to 1997 and ironically is located within the same area as the new soul spin is King's Island is describing this attraction as this recently discovered mechanism appears to be an immersive sun disk created by an ancient civilization. Climb aboard these open air suspended passenger vehicles to experience the thrill of flying 60 feet in the air at 25 miles an hour. Now I gotta say, looking at this overview of the attraction, this looks phenomenal. Way to go, Kings Island. I'm absolutely in love with this. I mean, it's the small details like this that are really making Cedar Fair stand out on their own when you compare them to Six Flags and SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. I mean, literally, I feel like while they're not investing in major coasters right now, they are making their parks stand out from others and really making the guests feel more immersive in the area and that's always a great thing so kudos to king's island kudos to cedar fair all i can say is i can think of around three or four different cedar fair parks that can use a zamperla endeavor uh, one would be carowinds obviously cedar point with witch's wheel being removed and king's dominion 
Now I gotta say, this move is great for the park, because we all know that Kings Island desperately lacks flat rides. And we also know that this area of the park really is like the worst area as far as like there's really not a whole lot to do. I mean, it's not that big, but you have Adventure Express and then Slingshot and that's really it. So it's great to see Cedar Fair put some life in this area. And speaking of Adventure Express, I don't know about you, but this roller coaster is so good. I mean, I honestly like it better than Orion. Okay. Now, before you flip out, I'm just joking, calm down. But anyways, Adventure Express really is like one of the better coasters at King's Island, in my opinion. And I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with the enhanced theming elements to the attraction. So what do you think about Adventure Port coming to King's Island in 2023? Be sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.